Alrighty, Libras, this is going to be your reading for October 15th through the 22nd. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the tribe. This is going to be sun. Oh, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libras. If you do not have those placements, please make sure that you do check out my other videos so that you can get the proper message for you, okay? Um, if you're interested in getting a personal reading or joining my tarot class, which will actually be starting October 19th, please make sure that you guys check out my description box. Also, the extended reading will be posted below on my Patreon as always. So if you are not a Patreon member and you'd like to check out my extended readings and see further on what's going on with your cross watcher and the spread that we do over there, the information will be listed below, guys, okay? So let's get into your reading, Libras. What's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Libras for October 15th through the 22nd. October 15th through the 22nd for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Libras. Let's see. Okay, guys. So I am seeing that you guys are having a lot of new ideas coming in for you guys this week. I feel like you guys are redecorating some things around your home for some of you guys. For others of you, um, if you own your own business, I feel like you're restructuring some things with that business. Uh, if you have like a staff or a team that you're working with, I feel like you're working hand in hand with them so that you can correct some things with your business. But overall... You switching some things up, okay? <laughs> I am seeing, though, you do need to make sure that you're paying attention to the messages you may be receiving at night in your dreams. Um, make sure that you are taking heed to whatever they may be saying. Um, you may get a lot of inspiration through your dreams, so you do want to make sure that you keep a dream journal, guys. Um, my dream journal is over there by my bed, which you should keep one by your bed. Um, but I would show it to you guys, but I don't feel like getting up to get it, so definitely get you a dream journal um and also make sure that you guys are make sure you guys are keeping your thoughts in a positive place with whatever inspiration you may be receiving it may be kind of hard for you to act on it or you may be scared because you may be wondering what other people are thinking of course libras i'm an aries so i i never understand how you guys could care how others you know feel but you guys are you know you guys are awesome people, but um, definitely try to keep your thoughts in a positive place. Try to take in consideration that if you continue to surround yourself with positive people, positive situations, and positive thinking, that's law of attraction work right there. So you're bound to receive those blessings, right? But yes, you do need to focus on your creative expression. Some of you guys are really going to be able to showcase your work. And I feel like some of you guys are actually going to be um, able to celebrate this new creative expression that you may be integrating, okay? So yeah, I am seeing that you guys also want to feel a sense of freedom. I feel like in your head, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of people just trying to um, sh shell out their negative energy for some of you guys. This is not for everybody, but you may be around a lot of just energies that make you go a little crazy, okay? And you may want to be free from that. You may want to... I heard too many people in your ear, too many people in your ear. So you need to make sure that you're like not allowing people to drain the fuck out of you. Okay. Um, but your guardian angel is here with you. If you are feeling a little down, make sure that you are continuously praying. If you are somebody who prays, meditate, um, take some time for yourself. Y'all like to be around people too much. Okay. Y'all need to take some time for yourselves so that y'all can get this energy together. Um, your children, your children are good. Your children are good. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, I am seeing that you do need to make sure that your friendships, though, um, that people aren't like telling your business to other people. Make sure that people are not telling your business to other people. That's what I heard. Okay. 
but you need to look at some of your friendships this week. But I'm seeing that abundance is coming in for you guys, especially if you are an artist, somebody who does music, somebody who paints, somebody who is just expressive with their art, you make beats, anything of that nature. I am seeing that abundance is coming in for you, okay? So, yes. So let's see what affirmations I have for you guys for that week. What are some affirmations I can pass on to my Libras for October 15th through the 22nd? What are some affirmations I can pass on to my Libras for October 15th through the 22nd? October 15th through the 22nd, please. October 15th through the 22nd. October 15th through the 22nd. October 15th. Okay, so what I have for you guys, I pulled my personal growth is unlimited, okay? So this card says there is no limit to your personal improvement. Take time to understand areas in your life that require further growth. Harness the power to develop your strengths. There is nothing standing in between turning your good into great, okay? Okay. And then I also pulled, I am dope. It says you are a unique individual and that originality makes you extremely dope. Okay. Okay. I love this card. This card always gives me super hype whenever I see it in a reading. Okay. But it says you have a purpose and a path that is vital and tailored specifically for you. Remember to recognize yourself as special and necessarily and dope is hell sorry I was looking at the card and I was just like oh okay it says remember to recognize yourself as special necessary and dope as hell I said necessarily yes <laughs> but this card I love this card this is my favorite card in the deck this is like some stuff that you guys make sure that you guys keep in the back of your head like make sure you guys are remembering that your personal growth is not going to stop unless you want it to okay um and then at the bottom of the deck guys i do have the universe is my biggest fan it says the universe wants to see you win and is supporting you every step of the way the vibrations you emit will be reflected back you must possess an inner knowing that the universe has your back and will support your wildest dreams okay you and we got 11 okay 11 is a deep number guys it's a deep number. It reduces back to two. Okay. So let's see what's going on with your love life, guys. Let's see what's popping with that. Oh, make sure you guys like this video. If it resonates, I would really appreciate it. Please and thank you. Okay. What's going on with my Libra's love lives for October 15th through the 22nd? October 15th through the 22nd for my sun moon rising and venus libras what's going on with my single libras for the month i mean not the month the week of october 15th through the 22nd my single libras and my taken libras give me one card for them clarify heart to heart conversations clarify trust okay Ciao. Uh, so some of you guys are dealing with some deception here, okay? Right right off the bat. Some of you guys are dealing with some deception, and it could be in the sense of somebody cheating, but it could also be in the sense where somebody is not owning up to the full truth, okay? Let's think about deception further more than just, you know, cheating, okay? This is something that I, I feel like I have to say. Um, there could be a situation here where somebody's not a hundred percent revealing who they truly are or are not really showing you again, truly what's going on behind the scenes. Okay. But for my single Libras, I do have heart to heart conversations clarified by romantic feelings. So I am seeing that there is somebody that you're dealing with that there is feelings between you guys. You guys both feel for each other, but there needs to be clear communication. I feel like one person is having issues with opening up or even being expressive. Um, it could be like, I heard talking to a brick wall. Okay. These are not things that I'm saying from my mouth. I don't live in your, in your life. Okay. I don't live in anybody, anybody else's, um, 
situation. You know, I have my situations and you have your situations. I'm just saying what I'm hearing. Okay. So if anybody gets upset in the comments, it's not anything personal. It's what I'm hearing. Okay. But, um, it's just like somebody's trying to get through to the other person and somebody's not listening. Okay. That's what I heard. Um, or there just needs to be communication because one person's not getting it. Okay. Somebody's not getting it. Um, for my take in Libras, I do have a situation here where there is some issues with trust with you and your person. There may have been, again, some issues with deception and now you have some huge trust issues when it comes to this person. It also could be some financial issues at the moment. Okay. Somebody's finances is not on point or somebody's focus heavily on their finances and they're trying to, you know, keep it on point. Okay. It doesn't always have to mean that somebody's struggling financially. Um, but let's see what exactly is going on. Let's do a spread. Let's do a spread. So what's going on with my sun, moon, rising and Venus Libras for October 15th through the 22nd, October 15th through the 22nd for my sun, moon, rising and Venus Libras, sun, moon, rising and Venus Libras for October 15th through the 22nd, please. So some of you guys are dealing with a Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Um, For October 15th through the 22nd, please. October 15th through the 22nd. And the sun and rising of Venus Libras. Okay. Whew. Your cards really want to flip, guys. So let's see what's going on. Oh. I hate when the devil card just comes out as the first card. It makes me like very anxious. It's like, hey, I'm here, you know. <laughs> but at the bottom of the deck, I do have the six of pentacles, the king of cups, and the knight of pentacles, guys. So there is a situation here where there is a lack of equal give and take. Um, I am seeing that she may be dealing with an earth sign, a water sign, or whatever sign you may be dealing with. It doesn't matter. But there is issues with equal give and take within a relationship. Somebody really wants balance and the other person is just too busy giving their time, attention to other things, okay? Um, you may be trying to keep it together emotionally, like you're really doing a good job at masking how you, you know, deal with your emotions but um things could be moving really really slow at the moment okay um also there may be a water sign that may be wanting to come towards you with a stable offer but they are taking their time with that okay but i am seeing that there is going to be some sort of shift some of you guys i feel like there was some sort of situation that you guys were avoiding some of you guys were avoiding leaving a situation because you knew that your finances that you would have to like pay finances. That's what I heard. For others of you, somebody could have actually taken money from you, like taken an opportunity or some sort of finances away from you. And because of that, you were really upset and you had to walk away and it left you very imbalanced. OK, that's specifically for somebody out there. Um, but let's see. Nonetheless, you guys are coming into the week as the devil card, okay? So you guys are dealing with some toxic energies at the moment. Some of you guys are overindulging. Others of you, you could be dealing with a situation that you're tied to sexually. Um, clarify the devil card, please. Why is this here? Yeah, there's imbalances. You guys could be tied to a situation with a fire sign, a Capricorn, maybe a Sagittarius. Okay, I have Sagittarius energy here. But um, you're dealing with a toxic situation where there may be a third person in it. And the people that's in it, they're, like there's an imbalance. And also, tempers run really, really high within the situation. Um, with this being in reverse, this is showing me that somebody's having issues with controlling their anger and their emotions and actually just keeping the harmony, okay? Um, but yeah, there is definitely somebody you may be divorcing or you may be like in a relationship with, but there is a third person or there is like outside energies messing with the relationship. What I'm seeing in the past, I do have the two of wands clarified with the ace of pentacles. So you were at a crossroads about which way you wanted to go when it came to some sort of new 
um, offer that was extended to you. For some of you guys, it could have been um, something to do with finances, like you were at a crossroads about where you wanted to go for work. Um, for others of you, yeah, something with work and also with the connection. Um, you could have felt like things were very unsuccessful with a situation, like you felt like a failure with something. And I feel like you're trying to come out of your head or you were coming out of your head about the situation. And you guys had a huge burden that you guys were carrying, like a huge one. And I feel like you guys... <laughs> You guys were dealing with somebody who was either cheating or you guys were trying to avoid taking on a huge burden with somebody who you know was not going to give you the success that you needed, okay? But what I am seeing for the guidance, guys, I do have the high priestess here uh, clarified by the eight of wands or why do I keep saying wands? The eight of swords in reverse. So I feel like you need to use your intuition. You need to... Some of y'all need to go to a tarot reader, like straight up. Some of y'all need to go to a tarot reader. For others of you, if you are a tarot reader, you need to do a spread on yourself, okay? Um, if that's not the case, you need to use your intuition. Also, if you're dealing with the Pisces, you need to come out of your head about this person, okay? Um, for others of you, yeah, you just need to come out of your head and you need to use your intuition about what's going on because there is some hidden information here. Um, I feel like you guys need to focus on your success and you guys need to take in consideration that somebody may just want attention from you if they're not offering anything, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody who's not offering you enough and you know that, you need to think, um, does this person really want to be with me or not? Or just use your intuition because you may be dealing with somebody who's very immature emotionally, okay, guys? Um, what I see for the focus and reason, I do have the queen of wands clarified by the, um, page of swords. So I am seeing that you guys are, you guys need to make sure that you guys are stepping in your like creative power for others of you. It could be stalking a fire sign like or trying to get more information about a fire sign because you may not be sure about this person yeah i knew it had to be something about a fire sign <laughs> you guys are stalking the fuck out of this person or this person's stalking you okay if you're not stalking them then it's the other way around okay i don't want to hear oh i'm not stalking them okay then it's not for you like okay <sighs> but yeah somebody's stalking somebody here okay stalking but what i'm seeing for the Potential outcome, guys, I have the King of Wands. So, of course, clarifying the King of Wands, I do have the Ten of Pentacles. So, you guys are going to get into a relationship with this fire sign, but you need to be smart, guys. Like, please be smart. Please be smart. Like, there was things that happened in the past. There was things that happened in the past, and I feel like you guys need to make sure that you're not... Getting back into a situation that, for one, is going to result into really bad arguments or just things being done behind somebody's back, okay? But nonetheless, there is going to be a new offer, but you do need to go within about this. Like, you really do need to go within. So let's see what's going on with the cross watcher guys. If you guys want to see uh, more in depth what's going on with them, we do a full spread on the other side. Definitely check out my Patreon. It's going to be listed below. And if you are somebody who wants to join my tarot class, definitely hit me up. And if you need a booking, I'm always here for you. Okay. So what's going on with my Libra's cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for October 15th through the 22nd? So this person wants to start something new with you or they're trying to start something new, period. Um, I feel like this person is coming out of their head. Yeah, they want to reconcile, okay? But they also may be a, like somebody who parties a lot. Um, that's for some people. That's not for everybody, okay? Um, but I am seeing that this person does want to reconcile and bring harmony to the connection. But they may need to, for one, get their finances in order. They may be penny pinching. Um, for others of you, this person may have issues with actually opening up and I feel like they are trying to move to a better place mentally. They may be stalking you. Okay. Somebody's stalking for a relationship or they feel like you may be stalking them or you need to give them more information when it comes to some sort of relationship. Okay. If they want to get into a relationship with you, but I feel like they're done with the whole playing games thing. They really want to usher in some new energy. Okay. But there are some major choices that needs to be made. Because there's some secrets. There's something about a baby. Oh, there's something going on. 
with a baby. That's for somebody out there. It's kind of messy. Okay, but I'm going to do a spread on the other side, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me with this reading. I will see you guys on the other side. Bye, Libras.